This is Ralph at home in Essex. If that were the Essex in the American state of Massachusetts, things might have been different for him. Ralph is one of 230 children in the UK who need a life-saving organ donation. But here, only half of all families approached about child organ donation say yes. In the US, that consent rate is 75%. We've been advised that that is our best option to go to America. It's absolutely our last resort. We were really hoping a donor would come up in time in the UK, but unfortunately it hasn't, and we just do not have the time to wait. We are desperate as a family to raise a million pounds. That wait is now longer than it has been for almost a decade. Ralph's parents say more families need to say yes to organ donation. There's so few donors that by saying yes, you would actually save another child's life. And, and we're not saying, you know, sign you know definitely do it but we're saying think about it in advance because you wouldn't want to be in a situation where the first time you considered it was at the point of um being in the worst situation loana ball has been in that situation six years ago a tragic road accident left her daughter kira with life-threatening injuries none of us want to lose our children um sadly it it happens um, but the thought that actually she's donated her organs and she's living on in others is incredible. Kira's death led to a law change. Now, all adults in Britain are automatically opted in on the organ donor register. The law doesn't apply to um, children, um, which is why it's really important for people to put themselves on the organ donor register and sign up. I think regardless of... Um, children or adults, when we know somebody's opted into the organ donor register, we have a much higher consent rate. Not every family can consider America. Dahi's wait for a new heart is 2,000 days and counting. You've been waiting a long time, haven't you? I've been waiting for a long time. When Dahi was born uh, seven years ago, he was born with a severe heart condition called hypoplastic left heart syndrome which means that he half heart. has half a heart. There is no age limit, and we just hope that you know, organ donation will become that norm, that people don't think twice about uh, joining the register. Um, because the thing is, it's the only option at the minute for Dahi, and without the gift of a new heart, he won't make it. Dahi's family say more awareness is needed around paediatric organ donation. Parents, they say, are more likely to support donation if it's something they've already considered. Sadia Chowdhury, Sky News.